Hello, internet, and today, firstly, dude, I didn't know you could zoom in like this. Look at that. We have some more AFK Journey 2. Last time, we pulled ourselves a new character, and this guy looks like the sickest character of all time, man. We got Igor. I have no clue what he does. He looks sick as heck, and from just reading what he does, he seems to be like the guy that just jumps around the entire map, which is interesting, right? Imagine being in PvP. The guy shooting you with, like, a mage or whatever. Just have Igor in there, come in behind them, and then destroy them. We'll first try him out in anything. I guess I guess we'll challenge MK Progress. When this game does release, which should be soon, this is what you mainly want to do, right? So we get all your resources. So let's see. How does Igor perform here? I'm going to actually retire Cessia. Let's just have Igor do everything. Let's just see what he can perform, right? Let's go with the battle, man. And here we go. We'll have everything run on, um, times two speed and auto. I'm not looking... Okay, there we go. Igor did jump. I know you guys, um, saw this after this animation. Igor did jump. Right now, he's in the, like, the middle of the map now. Everyone's gathered and everything. Okay, I guess he is like, you know, the tombstone that he started on is right there. He jumps way over um, to the enemy side. I don't really know what it, you know, realistically does yet, but I guess we'll see. There's a lot of tombstones right now. So, yeah, I guess you'll, I guess we'll, like, see it better in PvP, I think. That should be a PvP skill. Look at the amount of tombstones they are. That means, like, he jumped to each and every one of these. Yo, look at her. Okay, that was very quick. Yo, that's in PvE. So I would say Igor is definitely like a PvP type of character. Let's just see how he performs here, man. I'm gonna go for a setup like this. We've got our healer and we've got our tank at the front. And all I have is Igor and Cecilia at the back. I'm hoping Igor just jump around, kill the healer on the enemy end, and maybe um the horsewoman. Let's just see how it goes, man. I'm not sure yet what he does exactly. I don't even know if I'm gonna win this, but we'll find out. And here we go. We have Igor. He's starting to jump, I think. Um, we'll have we'll kill our ulti and everything first for now, though. I don't actually think it's jumping that far away, though. <laughs> Everyone's kind of just around here anyway. Don't feel you need to jump, but ideally he jumps towards here, the backside. I can't really see him yet. Yeah, he does his ulti and all, but does he jump? Oh, oh, I don't think he's jumping, guys. <laughs> he's jumping, I'm pretty sure, but he's jumping, like, just around here. Like, right now, he's in the middle of the map again. He's not killing the backside, which I think I'm dying to. Oh, oh, final, final hit. Oh. Yo, he is holding his own right now. Wait, hello? How are you not dead? Okay, he's finally dead, but all right. I don't think I can beat this with my power level at the moment, but okay, I see Igor. Firstly, he doesn't just, you, you kind of can't control where he jumps, or at least I haven't figured out how to like, you know, control where he jumps. But I realized that when he does jump, he kind of avoids all the damage, which is kind of nice. All right, this he has to be able to jump, right? Yeah, let's run this. We got Dundee here to tank the ball, and I'm hoping Igor on the flank which is destroy, like, whoever's on the backside, right? Surely that's how it works. We're gonna go ahead and get the battle in. I'm gonna slow it down, actually. It's too speedy. And they're 1v1ing right now with, like, another sort of thief. Like, can he move, though? Hello? Is he gonna move? Yo. Yep, there we go. That's the move, man. I really don't know how to control that. He's jumping towards behind, but he's attacking the tanks, though. Is there any way I could just... I imagine if I could just hit the enemy Cecilia. This would have been just so free, man. But either way, we have our Cecilia, though. So the game should be set, though. Like, boom, here we go. Untangle on their bud. Igor is still in the middle there. Don't know if he's gonna jump or not. He did jump, but only to the side. Like, you can see the tombstones, right? He's jumping, you know, around the tombstones. That's what he does. And, oh, uh, look at the animation. It's like an AoE hit that has a really high range. And, yo, look at that. He's right there. I'm hoping he hits Faye. I'm hoping he hits Cecilia right there. But, no, he's just hitting, just hitting everyone in front of him. Gosh dang it. Right, what? Okay, you know what? That That's perfect. He's jumping towards Cessia. Let's go. Boom. Right, now he hits Cessia. That is how you use this character, right? Now, before he even finished his job, he already swapped spots again, but, well, at least he's hitting Cessia. That's all that matters. Right, here comes the enemy Titan. I think I should be fine. I've got my... <laughs> Yo, Igor's destroying the backside. If we kill Faye, I think it's game over. And every time he jumps, I think it's some damage, too. I might be wrong, though. But either way, it was too many LTs right now for you to really see what's going on. But Igor should have his ult now. Here we go, Igor. And a boom. That's all, that's some damage right there. All right, I see how you I see how you work. And yeah, every time he jumps, it, it is some damage as well. But there we have it. We got him. Still think it's my Cessia that yeah kind of did everything there. But Igor, hmm, I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure about like what his role is yet. But he jumps around. That's pretty unique. I don't know if you can. Con I'm not sure if you can control where he jumps. If you can, I am very certain he's like the best PvP character of all time. Like, if he could just jump 
to Assessia, the, the start of the game, right? Imagine how good that'd be. For that to happen, I think I have to, uh, like, put him here. Maybe something like this. I don't know. We'll have Igor, hopefully, like, you know, everyone's controlled here. Igor will jump around towards the flank here again. We'll see what happens, man. Let's go. This should be a close fight. Our power levels are not, like, that much different at all. I'm gonna times two speed this. Um, the enemy tech is hitting my, like, you know, damage dealers, though. But mine's doing the same to theirs, right? It should be the same. So, are we good? Oh, Igor, <laughs> Igor decides to jump towards the tech. All right, I guess. He's, like, rescuing the waifus, man. Right, so can he do anything? Actually, no, he's not even hitting the knight. He's going away from the fight and then throwing shurikens. But now he's back in the fray, though. He's kind of random, though. He's gonna jump in around and be heck of random. But his skill, though, is like... It's sick looking. I don't know what it does yet, to be honest. But, well, I think we, ha we have it, though, right? Where's Igor? I don't even know where Igor is. But, yeah, he's jumping around, I think. Still killing the tank. But, you know, I guess it works. Okay. Don't mind if I do, I suppose. I did get the victory here. And there we have it. Honestly, though, for my power level to just be on like, what? 400 more than the enemy. I wiped them hard. But all right, there we go. Adept 2 MI, baby. Honestly, the PvP in this game, pretty dang fun. You don't gotta sweat like a lot of other games. You just like to run, and you know, if, you, if it fails, just get more power level or switch stuff around. It's pretty dang fun, man. Right, now, I'm gonna attempt a solo damage dealing Igor. I'm not sure if that's gonna work yet. And yeah, let's try this, I guess. Everyone's pretty much tanking. We have Igor alone to jump around. We have enough heals to deal with them. We'll see how he, like, functions, I suppose. Here we go. I'm gonna, like, actually take a really deep look into Igor right now. I'm realizing he has no energy. Like, he gained no energy there. What, what's up with that? But either way, get my animation in. And now he's in the middle. He likes to jump in the middle. And, uh, yeah, I think he's losing energy. Is it something, like, the enemy's doing? That's kind of weird. But here we have the gather. Now we have Igor jumping around, too. I think if I run Igor... I shouldn't run Iron, because Iron do get her into like a spot. It kind of makes like Igor just jump into the middle, which doesn't really matter, right? We have a lot of tombstones here, so I'm not sure what they do yet. I need to really read. I think my um, uh, my freaking Igor's dying though. Yeah, Igor. Oh, Igor almost died. Came back though. Wait, is this like his skill? Does he just not die? <laughs> Yo, he's still here. Wait, wait. Does he just not die? That is crazy, no? And, uh, yeah, he's still there. And he's healed up already. He's back in the fray. If he dies, he respawns in the tombstone. Is that how it works? If it, uh, dude, I should just read, no? Like, I'll showcase, I, I showcase you guys how it kind of works. Let's just freaking read, man. If I understand it correctly, this Igor character basically has something to do with his tombstone. And, uh, as long as the tombstone exists, he's gonna respawn there with, like, certain amount of health. Is that how it works? Igor jumps to another tombstone to dodge a fatal blow and recovers health while moving between tombstones. Okay, so he doesn't revive, right? But he, he does just heal. I guess I guess that's how he sustains a lot. So he jumps around, does damage, heals up, evades shit. So he's actually a, an expert in his survival and, you know, just kind of jumping around attacking. Kind of like an assassin in a sense. But all right, Igor, okay, I, I see you. The only thing tough is that, you know, the tombstone that he plays, you don't ever know who, where it'd be. I would rather, like, be able to control it. I think you could if you play it manually. Not sure, though. But imagine if you put a tombstone beside the enemy's, like, squishy units. Just kill them with Igor. Igor then just jumps around if he needs to heal or something. That's a pretty good PvP character, in my opinion. But either ways, guys, that is another, um, you know, Hero Showcase of FK Journey 2. They are sponsoring the videos, so do check them out in the description. It should be releasing soon, this game. I actually think, like, it started off being, like, a bit, you know, kind of iffy for me. But they've made a lot of updates, improving a lot of, like, the graphics. Like, they added zoom in, they added a landscape mode, they added a lot of stuff, improving as they go. So I think this game will actually be one of the funnest AFK games, and one of the most unique ones ever. So I do urge you guys to try, guys. But yeah, that is all for now. Until the next AFK Journey video we go, take care.